What is up everyone and welcome back to Ultra Despair Girls Dog and Ropa another episode Episode what nine now? I don't know anyways, but last time we left off My boy Yeah Kamaru My boy Oh, it's been so long my dude. I mean kinda I mean I guess we saw you in three Technically, but uh, that that don't count. I mean, the real you was good, my boy. I knew it. You're you're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> Mister. Yeah, why, Mister? You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were all right. Yeah. I mean, I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto, I'm so glad you're alive! I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. Why didn't Toko just say anything? But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? Huh? I see. Then you don't know either. Oh, boy. I was hoping that you would. Then... You don't know either? <laughs> oh no, they probably did. It's gonna be alright. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. Hopefully. But you have no proof of that. They could be... Well, he had no proof of you being alive, but look at you now. There's no proof they're not okay either. Yeah. So let's just believe in hope for now. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. <laughs> really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. Yeah, he's the ultimate hope, my boy. Your hair's gotten more frizzy, and then in the three anime, it gets smaller. But more <laughs> importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Because he's the ultimate hope. What do you and mean by that? He, he's in Future Foundation. I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? Put two and two together, Komaru. You... You really don't know? Uh, don't know? About what? I'm with Future Foundation. Yeah. Branch 14. That's my division. He, he, he said this. <laughs> I mean, come on, Kamaru, put two and two together. You call Future Foundation, you get Makoto. There can only be, like, one explanation for that. <laughs> Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? Yeah. <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? <sighs> you disappeared. Everyone was so worried about you. Worried like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. Uh oh, you know, I would never stay behind on a mission like this Especially with master going uh. so you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened Wait, hold on you two know each other. Yeah, they went to school to get oh <laughs> I mean they, oh, uh, Why, they, Toko they, knew about me from the beginning? They, they, yeah, they, they, they totally went to school together. Not the kind of school you'd want to go to, but hey. I mean, they, yeah, they she, did go to school together as well, but we don't know really much about that other than, you know, uh, the bits and pieces that Juko showed them, but hey. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? Yeah, why didn't you, though? No, you very much didn't. Uh, yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. She's not wrong. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Uh... Hey, hey, I wasn't balling! Don't lie. Don't listen to her, Makoto! No, no, you, you, you were. You, you, <laughs> you've grown, but you were crying. And what's that dot on your hair right there? So, where is Byakuya? Uh, maybe dead? Master is safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? He was pr probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. Maybe. There's no other way. Ugh. 
The son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Well, I mean, the Kogami family isn't anything now, isn't it? Sounds like the situation <laughs> is pretty serious. So serious, the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh, yeah. Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. Wait, you... you didn't know that either? I guess not. Toko well, didn't I tell didn't. me shit. <laughs> well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Oh, what? Uh, I do not have a brother complex. Oh, God, no. I don't really know where to start. <sighs> We weren't just regular classmates. We were a part of the killing game! Uh... We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. We were forced to kill each other. Our classmates. Yeah. Kill? Yeah. A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other. Right in front of our eyes. Well, no, not in front of our eyes. Kind of off in secret. But then we discovered that they killed. You know what I'm saying. Even Anyways. After all this time, the memory, the despair, I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? No, that's, that's what Toko was like, uh, when you said you could write a book about that. It wasn't a movie. It was reality. Yeah. It actually happened. Yeah. But according to three, it didn't. <laughs> it was all Rashomon's life as part of the tragedy. The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. Yeah. They wanted to show the whole world. The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? <laughs> wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah. We were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survived. My girl Junko, how dare you kill? I mean, it was it's good that she's dead. I mean, we, we don't need that despair, right, of course, guys? We right? couldn't save everybody. Yeah, a lot and of our friends that, died. We left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged, but by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together. We move forward. Soon we came under Future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause, to fight against the remnants of despair, who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Right, Toko? <laughs> oh, what, what, what the hell? Are you okay? Toko, are you crying? Yeah. Of course I am. Remembering the suffering and heartache. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. Yeah, well, you were just trapped in a little room. We were trapped in hell. <laughs> you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought and confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Yeah, in a sense. Huh. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along. So eager about everything. Uh, hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. My boy, you were probably ecstatic. Oh. <laughs> but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? Yeah. Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto. You've definitely changed. Yeah, my boy's grown up. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. My boy, you are the ultimate hope now. You have grown up from the little scared boy in the beginning. Well, you weren't that scared, but you were like, Why are our friends doing this? And now you're like, Hope, bitch! And then, <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah. You really changed. You have, it my boy. Good job. might be weird for your little sister to say this, but you seem more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Huh? Apologize? The reason you were in prison there? 
It's because of us. Yeah. If we weren't chosen by the mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. Huh? What do you mean? You were our motive to kill, the first motive. You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. Yep. In order to make us commit murder, the mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. We managed to stop it before it got that far, but the theme was killing among loved ones. The mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other, to make us really lose all hope. The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. Yeah, see, you weren't important back then. You didn't have the Ahoge then. But now, you're super important! That was just the beginning. The Mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the Mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. Like, I have a legitimate question. How does an Ahoge form? Does it, does, does, just, does it just randomly, one of your hairs start going up one day, and then it prominently becomes the Ahoge, or do you just style it like that? Like, I, I am very, I am very curious because of Komaru's transformation in this. <laughs> like, she had nothing, nowhere near Ahoge back then. And maybe a year has passed or so, and BAM! That big beauty is on top of her head now. So, wh uh, what, 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 what spawns the Ahoge? Other than the call of the protagonist. Like, what, 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 what spawns that? <laughs> Like, come on now. Even I can understand that, Toko because... I was still imprisoned. Yeah, I can understand Toko because her hair's all fucked up in all sorts of ways. So I can understand one just randomly poking up at the some time. But Gamaro's hair is, like, pretty normally straightened. And then that one just... Rawr, like, right there. Like, ha hmm. Um, we have to study Ahoges, guys. Like, on our off time, we have to study how they work. And how to determine what will make it grow. Like, did the world just know this girl would become a protagonist one day? Or, I don't know. Probably it, the doings of the remnants of despair. Trying to succeed the mastermind's will. But as you notice, like, as the Ahoges swarm, they get smaller. Makoto's was pretty thickish. Hajime's was a little smaller. Gumaru's is smaller. Kaede's is smaller. And then Shuichi's is smaller. The, the Ahoge is gonna be a literal strand of hair now! Because of <laughs> that, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. So that's why Biaki and the others were at my apartment. Yep. But because of those rioting little brats and their machines, the plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, no, was captured. No, he is not a protagonist! He doesn't have an Ahoge! Therefore, he is unimportant! Makoto, you've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. Whoa. Oh. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Then that would oh, mean the bad. tip was a trap. Using... Uh, what did she say? Uh, some like spirit. I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone's setting up Future Foundation. Oh, you don't continue? Okay. Then that would mean the tip was a trap. Using the captives as bait to lure us there. There you go. The captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Yes, come on, then we've discussed Yuta this. Yuta and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're, they're all captives? Yeah. Yes, there are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Komaru, what you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game, too? Yeah, I got a wristband, man. Yeah. They put a wristband on me, and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. Not weird, psychotic. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game 
said something interesting earlier. Something about big sis Junko. Oh, my lord and savior. Junko. I mean, Junko. You oh, mean no. Junko and Oshima? No, not Junko. Not Junko? the beautiful and talented and queen of this. I mean, not that horrible Junko. She's the mastermind behind the school. No. Yeah. She's the, the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. Yeah. And she has huge boobs. I, I mean, irrelevant, but yeah. Big uh, boobs, too? I, you two are meant for each other. Uh, God damn Junko it. Junko and Oshima uh. is known as the true ultimate despair. She was our former classmate. And she was, whew, whew, whew. Beautiful. But Anyways, I mean, earlier, bad. You already defeated the mastermind? Yeah, but yes. her influence is still and strong is and alive. Dead. But it seems her memory is still alive and well. Yeah. Even in death, Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her. Like some big chested despair goddess or something. I mean, that's practically how I'd put it, yeah. I mean, no! She's bad! No! We, we don't did defeat worship despair people. here. It's all about that hope. Well, lately, I've been thinking she must have foreseen this possibility from the very beginning. Of course. Listening to you guys is... I just can't believe it's all real. Yeah, three said it wasn't, so there you go. Have have some faith. It's not real. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no, it, this 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 is real. That that was just that was just another universe. We we don't pay attention to that universe now. Yes, this is this her is big happening. Her boobs are indeed real. Yeah, yay. I mean, what? No, what? Not that part. Uh. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are. Killing adults, you know? Yeah, guys, it's been here from the start. Look, the fiction has been here, and we never noticed it. <laughs> yeah. Things are just so messed up here. Makoto, hurry up and get over here. Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city. If I leave without permission, it blows. Yeah. But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me. Kamaru. You can't. Huh? I, I can't... Can't what? Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Byakuya is being used as a deterrent. Meaning, if Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... Be killed. Then Future Foundation won't come save us? Then what am I supposed to do? Didn't I already tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those kids. Yeah, we gotta kick their asses. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. <laughs> That's impossible! You've been doing fine till now. You defeated, what, two of them now? No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you too. But, but I... I can't take this anymore! I just can't do it anymore! I'm not from Future Foundation or Hope's Peak. I'm just a normal girl who can't do anything! Yeah, she doesn't have that hope perk when you think about Hope's Peak and then you gain all that hope. She doesn't have that perk, so she's kind of fucked. <laughs> Makoto, please, I'm begging you! Come save me! Hurry! She said, fuck Miyaki, I don't even know him! Help me! <laughs> I told you, you can't! <laughs> If they come here to rescue you, Master will be executed. Yeah. Makoto, you better not come. If you even try it. I... I will... I will kill your sister. Oh. I mean, kill? hey now. Toko, I'm dead. Oh. M Makoto! Oh boy. Oh no, it M dead. Makoto! Hey! What happened? It Makoto. dead. Out of battery? No, it can't be. That must mean they found us. Maybe. Wouldn't doubt it. We've been here for quite a while. I mean, 21 minutes. It's a long time, man. Oh no. What? They're going to trap us. We gotta hurry and get out of here. I mean, 
Before we do that, can we backpedal a bit? Did you just say you'd kill me? Ah! I haven't finished talking to my brother! We can't get through anymore. And it doesn't matter anyway, no matter how much you talk. As long as Master is in their custody, Future Foundation cannot come to this town. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but you just said you'd murder me. I don't think we could be as close as friends as we were before. <laughs> if it's Makoto... Oh. What? Blackout? Oh no, this is total darkness. Bitch Black? Oh. What is going on now? Toko, calm down. Don't panic. I am calm. I've just been taking too many deep breaths. That's it. Just oh, lightheaded. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's panicking. It's fine. We just gotta get out of here. Hurry or I'll stretch your cheeks out like rubber. Oh, that's a threat. Got it. Uh, okay. Sure. Oh, whoa, 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 baby. This is total darkness. Hmm. What? What? Ooh. I'm gonna just move toward the light. Uh. Jesus, is that you? No! Okay. Oh, okay. No, it's a kid. Thought it was a monocoon about to say. No, that's not Jesus. stick well at least it's gonna be a bit brighter now hey now you guys can see in there <laughs> little brat in game I'm, I cannot I'm see sure shit she knows how to get out of this place like look I can Let's still see in there that's not that dark and then look at this well, 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 what is this it, right? I can clearly see in that light that they had <laughs> Uh, that seems a little unfair. Dark. So dark. Let me out already. Oh. oh boy. Oh, please stop glitching with that. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, oh man. Some Monokuma's in here. How am I gonna fight? Oh! That surprised me. That surprised me too. Monokuma. You fuckers. You're shiny. Oh, that, that's, that's a different shiny. I still need that though. Give me that. Mushroom, okay. Where are the footsteps? Oh no. Uh, oh wait, there's a shiny over here. Oh wait. Oh fuck. Uh, how do I get over there? Uh, I hear. I swore I heard a Monokuma footstep. Maybe. No, I do hear it. I think it's that way. God, if you're there, I could really use a flashlight. Yeah. Jesus, help me. I'm just kind of... If I close my eyes, will I not be able to tell it's dark? <gasps> oh my God, he scared me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's so loud, so it scared the shit out of me. I literally jumped from that! Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, that scared the shit out of me! Holy shit! Oh, what the hell is this? Neko. Neko Neko Maru, uh, let's see, Grand Boyce Cherry Ludenberg, oh, then it's Celeste's cat. It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down, it gets to, uh, wait, if you let your guard down and get too close, it'll eat you. Lure it out with gyoza food and burn it to ash with a fire attack. It might look like a cat, but it... But well, cat food doesn't work, so pick the right food. So did they literally put a band on a cat? I'm like, really? Uh, a cat? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that that really fucking scared me. Uh, I got that 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 Monokuma jump scared the shit out of me. I'm just walking blindly in the dark at this point. 
I hear it. I'm not putting my headphones fully on again. I did that to listen out for him, but that noise scared me. <laughs> oh, hi. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I mean, I can't see you now, so that doesn't help. Oh, there you go. Oh, boy. There's a dead person. There's a shiny. Ooh! What? Where? Oh. Jesus Christ. He's Monokuma. Stop. Ugh. Oh, it's a sock thing. <sighs> I'm tired of this. I should go inside the washing machine and get some sleep. Have I gotten, like, all the sock things, or have I missed any? I don't know, man. One, two, three, four, five. No, I've gotten all five. Or, all five. I don't know if there's five and not. Well, I thought I was on chapter five, that's why. Fuck. But no. Um. I don't know, man. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. There was a character file, because I should have got new characters. Yeah. Uh... My boy! Anyways, uh, Makoto Naegi likes curry and trendy things. This likes dried mackerel and dried bean crud, curd, or whatever. He's 5'2", 115 pounds, 30 vitals, February 5th is his birthday, and blood type A. Former student of Hope Speak Academy and older brother, Komaro Naegi. By defeating the ultimate despair during the school killing incident, he earned the title Ultimate Hope. Alrighty then. Let's see, uh, next up is Hiroko Higakure. Likes cigarettes and alcohol, dislikes mother-in-law, men with no balls, oh boy. Uh, she is 5'6", 115 pounds, 35 vitals, born July 5th, blood type A. Woman hiding from the children in the underground base, she's impatient with the other adults for not doing more to help, but she understands their hesitation. And then, um... Taichi Fujisaki likes laptop and his child dislikes snakes and frogs. He's 5'8", weighs 150 pounds, vitals 31, born November 8th, blood type AB. A man who Komaru and Toko met at Toa Tower was killed by a beast Monokuma after activating the elevator. His only regret is not being able to see his child one last time. Well, he wouldn't have been able to. Ah! Let's see, Shirokuma, World Peace, on uh, Flower Medals. I think we read Shirokuma. Dislikes fighting and verbal abuse. Idol of the adults and loved by the resistance members. Whenever he goes outside, he rescues injured adults and brings them to the secret base. A pacifist who believes in peace. I don't think we read him. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. And then Haiji Toa. Um, likes young... Oh. Oh, Haiji, do I have to call... La police! Anyways! <laughs> likes young girls and quiet girls. Dislikes old girls and noisy girls. <sighs> Hi, G. I, I think I'm gonna have to. Why you gotta be bored in my birth month, too, you fool? Anyways, he's 6'2, 159 pounds. Uh, did I say pounds? Uh, pounds. 34 vital. Um, date of birth, August 9th. Blood type O, leader of the resistance that hides inside the underground secret base. Though he claims to always be working on a plan he never executes. Son of Tokuichi Toa. There we go. And yeah, that's all the new we have. Anyways. Uh, but, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, Haiji, uh, do I have to call the police? Uh, what, what do you mean, yes. young? Oh. Hi. <laughs> Got you. No! You, I bet you know exactly where the exit is, right? T t tell me! Uh-huh. <laughs> An emergency staircase right here? Well, Thank that was God. only a couple of inches Surely away from us. For an emergency like right now? Let's hurry and get out of here. Ooh! <laughs> Damn, that was dirty. Wait, hold up! Oh God! Uh.
Well, that was even more dirtier. Like, holy crap. Toko. Hey, Toko. What? You better listen well. Oh no, not this again. <laughs> if you wash black clothes too many times, the color fades. Oh. But there's a way to combat this. Is there? It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. Y yes, do the laundry like usual. But before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. Really? Oh yes, I will. I'll add beer, anything. And just like that, faded clothes can be fully restored. I don't know if that's right. Uh, someone confirm this for me. What? Because <gasps> I would have a lot of black clothes. At doing <sighs> I I don't know what that one was. Thank you very much. Now I can be the perfect livestock for Master. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Togo, get a hold of yourself! <laughs> yeah, face. <sighs> What? What happened? You got... you got played. <laughs> we found the emergency exit, but it's blocked. Yep. That brat! She betrayed us! A little more and I would have blown up! I don't think she was our ally from the start. Sh shut up! This is your fault! Why is it my fault? You're the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation, and now this happens! Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap! Take some responsibility! Responsibility? Sorry about that, guys. Anyways... Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses! I just need some light, yeah? <laughs> light! More light! Oh... Yeah... Pretty much. Well, at least I can see. Like, this is how it was in there before. I don't see why they couldn't allow me to see like this. Like, this this is how it was in the cutscenes. Boom! Bitch, what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, there. The light's coming through. Maybe you can break that part. Where, 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 where? Oh, 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 that's what you wanted me to do. I didn't know that. Yes. <sighs> I was about to say, where's my goddamn co- The light! The light! Oh, you sound like it burns instead okay? of being happy for it. No, I'm just happy. Oh, are you sure about that? It sounded like, like you were dying. you didn't have to scream about it. Yeah. Calm your shit. But still, it's good that we're finally outside. But now what do we do? Well, backpedaling. You said you were going to kill me, right? Are we, like, on an edge? Because if you want to try... I can push you too, you know. <laughs> oh, are you sure, there's a way to get down. I mean, we could always jump. Uh, I have faith in my protagonistness that we'll survive. <laughs> God damn it! Super precision shot. Okay, what is that? Oh no, that, that was my star body. What is this? Oh, give me that one HP, please. Uh, superposition decreases, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh man, that's, that, that's really slow. Uh, I, I don't think I need that slow. That, that precision will not help. I don't even think precision shot helps me. I like a little faster aiming. The only time I need slow aiming is if they're standing still. Uh, so high up, so scary. Yeah. If we fall, we'll be squashed into jelly. We have to walk carefully. Oh, why did I get stuck? Oh, there's a save point. Why is the save point so far to the edge? I don't like that. I pull that shit over here. I don't like that at all. Uh, that's scary. Anyways, god damn it. Uh, let's go down. Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but what floor are we on again? Uh, I don't know. Better than being in the dark. Come on, let's go. Uh, 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 yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what now? 
Jachiro's not coming back, huh? Think he got beat by those two chicks? Yeah. Well, not like I care. I hate him anyway. Good. Jachiro <laughs> promptly got himself killed. Cut, ground down, crushed and stretched, squashed into paste, burned and eaten. Well, I don't know about all that, but he did get stretched with his mask at least. Poor little Taro. Even though I hated him. Uh, you guys are so dirty! <laughs> Anyways, Monica, <laughs> why are we not holding a funeral this time? Because you guys hate him. It, isn't it obvious? <laughs> a funeral? Oh, that. I got bored of that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We can't even fill the coffin anyway. They just knocked this picture over and everything. God damn. At least fucking Masaru is cool. God damn it. I don't know, Kotoko is the only one I like out of everyone here, so... <laughs> well, well, if you got bored of it, guess we don't really have to. But, um, do you think Jachiro really died? Hmm? I mean, if he did die, we should have found his body, right? I was just, you know, a teensy bit curious. It sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. Oh. Huh? Oh so, god damn it, calm you your little shit! Self down! Monica is wrong! Uh, You're well. questioning Monica! Well, if someone is pronounced dead, I'd like to see a body unless it's from war, because then you can expect that. But here, uh, the, no one is causing war but the kids, so why is his body gone? No, no, not at all! There's no way Monica could be wrong! The only thing is, she's killing them and she's having the kids hide the body. And speaking of wrong, aren't the people who put Worcester sauce on fried eggs just wrong? Wait, what? It's so obvious that fried eggs taste best when you drown it in maple syrup, right? I don't like maple syrup, but okay. Mm. Look, I was just a little curious, that's all. My head's just a little out of place right now, is all. I'm just a teensy bit curious. Like about why mailboxes are always white, or how enemies become friends right after a fight. Hey, no, mailboxes aren't always white. I got a black mailbox outside, and some other people got a red one, and there, there's a brown one up the street, man. You think I'm kidding? I'm being serious. <laughs> don't have to worry about things like that. Oh. I, I'm sorry. It's not like I have bad feelings toward Monica or anything. So please, please don't hate me. Keep loving me forever and ever. Why? It's just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Jesus Christ, all of a sudden I got a fucking headache. What the hell? Anyways, what were we talking about? Yep, yep. I already when did know that. It's not something to apologize like, what, 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 what's over. What's happening here? I kind of forgot the last five minutes of everything. What the hell were we talking about? Like, quite honestly, I think I gotta go back and read. Like, what the hell was said? Uh, fried eggs. I remember the fried eggs thing. Curious, I had some mailboxes are white. I think I made a comment about mailboxes or something. I don't, I don't even know, man. Well, anyways, I, I don't remember what. Let's just continue. I know you're just a sweet, gentle little girl. Why is gentle oh. highlighted? Gentle? What? Kotoko, oh. you were so cute, as always. Oh. The director, the producer, the sponsors, everybody was super happy. Oh. And now, there's another business you have to attend to. And your mom's gonna come with, okay? What? It's going to be all right. Kotoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. Oh, no. Very, very gentle. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! I don't want gentle! Oh, my God. Oh, I just remembered that shit. 
Oh, uh, that's so fucking awful, though. Like, why? Jesus Christ. I know there was, like, the joke with Komaru and her teacher, but... Actually having... Uh, that kind of thing in here, it's like... God damn it. I don't know. I just feel the worst for her out of everyone here. Like, uh, that's just fucked up, though. Like... Jesus Christ, man. Uh, I, I'll do anything, please! Just not that! Uh, I, I'll do my best with singing uh, and acting! Uh, so please! Uh, anything but gentle! Oh, oopsies! I totally forgot. Gentle is a bad, bad word for Kotako. Jeez. To make you end up like this. It's as I've always known. Demons are the worst. Oh. How can they be so blind? Blind to their foolishness, ugliness, noxiousness, bad smell, boringness, to their own damnation. Even blind to the fact that they scarred Kotoko like this. The fuck? It's okay. Monica won't be gentle. Like, that's legitimately my face. Like, what the fuck? Demons are filthy, smelly, ugly chunks of meat. More worthless than dirt and disgusting. Filthy demons deserve a disgusting, filthy death. They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! Oh. They should just hold it in and hold it and hold it until their intestines explode! Oh. Jeez, Kotoko, that's so gross. Ugh. Um, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you don't want to know. Wait, well, who the fuck? Look up there. Oh, <laughs> Now's not the time for banter. We've got a lot of work to do here. Oh my, oh my. Are you perhaps... Jealous? I wish we could turn the camera. Did, 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 did no one notice like the black monokuma up there? What are you talking about? What do I have to be jealous of? It's not like I'm jealous. But of quite you. honestly, on my first run, I don't even think I noticed that. Like, what the hell? Is that what you're trying to say? Like I said, it—it's not that at all. Hey, what do you mean? Jealous. I mean, if you want to get punched by Monica, go ahead and be my guest, man. I, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, Monica, you're so innocent. I could just put whipped cream on you and eat you up. <laughs> I don't get it at all. These kids scare me. And hey, more importantly, you mentioned there was work to be done. Did something happen? Yes. I've received a report from the Monokuma kids I sent scouting earlier. Those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from Toa Tower. Don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society, Future Foundation. It's not a problem. I already scrambled their transmission. We also have a hostage. Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the remaining free-roaming demons. You mean... The resistance? As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. Amazing! Amazing! I don't really get it, but it sounds super amazing! Ugh. Well done, Nagisa. Oh. W wait, Mana! Hey! Hmm? What's wrong? I it's nothing. Just... Y you're a little close to me is all. Well, that's what a hug is, boy. Aww, you're such a shy boy, Nagisa. Meow. Your uh, plan. If it works, stop. our paradise can finally be built. And when that happens, the warriors of hope will level up to saviors. Hmm. As our new leader, I will continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Y yeah you're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon. Hey, you're listening, right? 
Kurokuma? Oh, right. You can talk now. There he is. Did you allow that thing to talk? Excuse me? Phew, that was tough! I shall not be silenced! Not have to keep him quiet for that damn long! Okay... Damn, even someone extremely good at talking like me is already tired out from running my yap! It's like the hero is still in its child face, but the warrior alien brother already showed up! That example sucked! Damn, this fatigue! I'd say I'm only about a third as sharp as usual. So anyway, the hell are we talking about? You saying something about making adults into sausages? Gonna pull out the organs, grind them up, make them into yummy, cruelty-free cuisine? And then you gather them up, sell them in a supermarket, and become an urban legend, huh? The fuck are you talking about? Now that sounds awesome! I want to see that! <laughs> Can, can we kill that thing? <laughs> like, can we please? <laughs> that one was annoying. <laughs> We're not at the first floor yet? This is an emergency ladder. Why'd it stop halfway? Jeez, this half-ass ladder. Who, who where, where is the person in charge? Hey man, I, I don't want to bring color into this, but... Why'd they have to make the black one annoying? <laughs> hey, you can't get mad at me for asking that. I am black, you bums. Anyways, but no, really, wh why is Kurokuma annoying? I, I even thought this in the first playthrough. Like, why why is he so annoying? <laughs> Shirokuma is calm and gentle, and that motherfucker is just annoying. <laughs> like, the minute I saw him, when he started talking, I was like... Please no. Please, please don't let this character be a thing. Can we please get rid of this character? <laughs> oh god. But anyways, Jesus Christ, man. Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. Yeah. Uh, you're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? I guess so, man. We're already on the second floor. Just a little bit further and we're out. Yeah. I might actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Okay. Shrooms? What? T tomorrow. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. It it's gonna be all right. This is just the last hope. That the last I hope. Hit it. That's not reassuring at all. Oh boy. I feel like there's a shiny over here. I could be wrong. I know there's a shiny somewhere out in the open. I don't know if I already if got that one. If it stays dark like oh. this, my life is getting shorter and shorter. What is I it? can feel death behind me. Well, try holding out a bit longer then. Yeah. Have hope. Cause that always works. Anyways. What's that over there? Where? A power panel, right? Where? There's a... Uh... Hmm. Well, I can't reach it. Am I supposed to supposed to do something here? Like hum. So it seems that this was moved, but oh wait, maybe I have to move it. There we go. Forgot about move. Uh, 
Finally, we're out of that horrible darkness. Yeah. Now what? All we gotta do now is get out of here. Ooh, you fuckers! <laughs> Toko is dead. Oh, it's a challenge. What does it say? A challenge? Again? Find a light in the darkness. Okay. If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. I feel like... We've done something like this before. We have? Uh... Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Oh, God. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? She's the ultimate Riddler. I don't know. Fuck it. Challenge start. The light something to do with darkness. these. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? Maybe. Can we, like, move these or something? I don't know. Let's check the next room. There might be something in this room. Uh, Let's get this over with. Pick up your pace. What's this? Hey! What are you making it dark for? You're doing it just to mess with me, aren't you? It's not like that. What is that? 2519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519072519
God damn it, that guy again. Ah. Oh, I'm missing hearts. I just not noticed that. Jesus Christ. When did I start dying? Ah. We're going down. Are we gonna fight another kid already? Oh no, it's just a challenge room. Oh, hi. What's up, man? Oh. If you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. And when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma go crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats. Kablooey. Hee <laughs> hee, new technology can sure be sketchy at times, huh? What? It's time for a tutorial once again. Now... Uh, this is a really dangerous room with lots of Beast Monokuma lurking around. It appears the Beast Monokuma are controlled by children's song. That's troubling, yeah. But don't be afraid. As long as you can find the singing child, you can disable the, all the Beast Monokuma. The Iron Maiden shaped like a Monokuma, aka Monokuma Maiden, is where the child is hiding. However, choose the wrong one and you'll get jumped by a Beast Monokuma, oh no. So look for the correct maiden while you try to avoid the roaming beast monokumas. Beast monokumas move in a specific pattern, so it would be a good idea to figure that out. Also, when you're looking for the right one, you should trust the kid's singing voice. There's also a visual guide that'll give you a good idea of where the singer is. Oh, oh I'm gonna bail this so one So you don't bad. have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kid. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. Oh boy, this is... I'm gonna get killed. I'm not... I don't think I'm gonna do this one good. That means I'm gonna have to put my headphones... ...and listen good if it's literally audio cues. They're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. Oh, there's more over there. That's nice. Be careful so we don't get caught. Ah, we got caught. We did? By what? Ah! Literally by which one? I didn't even notice. God damn it. That was kind of bullshit. Uh. Which one did we get caught by, though? Uh. Oh They're man, I don't like this. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. I'm trying to remember back to see if I could just remember which one it was. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. I don't know, ha ha, wait, why, who? Oh. So I mean, what did I get caught by? I'm right there. Yeah, which one did I get caught by? Now I'm really confused. How do I avoid them? Uh, I'm trying to figure this out though. So, I mean, he goes up there. He goes up there. Be careful so we don't get caught. Not this one, but can I hide right here? I don't know. Hmm. Uh! Sorry about that, guys. But is it gonna see me? Is it gonna see me? Is it gonna see me if it attacks me? I swear to God. Ooh. Is there a way to like see the? Let me just move over to this side. I mean, I don't remember. Is there a way to see the shit? I don't 
think so. I don't know. Ah, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Ooh. He's the last one to move, right? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Wait, was my thing green in there? Ooh, that scares me. I don't like this. I don't know how this works. Hmm. I want to go back to the one over there. Gotta wait until that other one moves, though. Because I think my thing was green in there. I don't know if that means the kid was there. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, God, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Does that mean it's here? I'm gonna take a chance! Oh, wait, no. How do I open it? How do I open it? How do I get it open? Ooh, 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 just stay still. Please, please don't kill me. I don't know how to open it. How do I open it? What are the controls? Is it move? How does this work? I don't understand how to open that thing! <laughs> I, oh, I think I just have to press X on it. I don't know if... I don't know if it's green. Does that mean it's on it? Or does that mean it's just close? <laughs> I'm gonna take a chance. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh, no! I gotta retry again. God damn it. Oh man, that I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. I'm not good with stressful shit like that. <laughs> oh, God damn it. So it's They're not in the, the bottom place. two. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. So it's not in any of the bottom two, so it's Wait, but how would I get over there? Would that motherfucker see me? Like I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to skadoodle forward then. Would I be able to do that? I don't think so. I'm a... I don't... How would I get over there? I don't know what's their line of sight and what isn't, though. That's the problem. How do I view this shit again? What? How do I view it? <laughs> there was a control to view it again, but I don't remember how. No! How do I view the thing again? Oh, I don't remember if there was a control to view it again. I gotta wait till he goes that way though, like... I swear there was a thing where you can do it to view the overhead thing again, like... Damn it! Or do I just... No. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Ah... Uh, Cause they would see me! So, I have to hide back there after the second guy goes, and then, I don't know, I'm gonna try some shit. Okay, he's going, so... Be just... careful so we don't get caught. Oh god, which ones? They saw me! Okay, if they... Okay, so if they see me, then, oh, I'm gonna have to retry again. Uh... So I guess I'm gonna have to go through the middle? I guess. I can't think of any other way to do it then. Cause they're gonna see me if I go, so I have to go through the they're middle. All over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. So I'm gonna just have to really time this. After the second guy goes down, I have to just go straight and look around. And when he goes up and the third guy goes up. I'm gonna have to, cause they stay turned around, right? Yeah. So maybe I can. No, I'm not gonna try that. That's that's too late. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until they all go back down. <sighs> I'm, I'm too scared. I don't know if I can run. I don't know how the Beast Monokuma work like that. So now I just have to wait until the second guy goes down. When he goes down, I'm gonna go. Okay, now just. Be careful, so we don't get caught. He has to be in that one, then. It's the only thing I can think of. I'm 
gonna just stay right here. Please don't. Please leave me alone. Hmm. And he's coming up over there. That motherfucker goes, I gotta go. There you are, you fuck boy! God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! The Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No okay. mercy. Die. Right. Oh my god, I don't like that. I hope there's no more like that, because Jesus Christ, this is the most stressful fucking one. Can I like, get on the side of you, or will you hurt me? Oh, I can push you. That that works, too. <laughs> oh my god, I did not like that at all. <laughs> oh, you're that way. Move out of the way, I gotta... God damn it. <laughs> Oh god, I, I didn't like that. Of course they would put him by the ones where there's like 90 of them. Ah, oh, Jesus. God damn it, you bastards. Oh god, I don't like things like that. Ugh. There's nothing else here, let's go. With this, we can get outside, right? Yeah. Nothing to worry about now, right? I guess. The ghost that wants to die. Okay. Taro jumped off the roof of the kindergarten, saying he no longer wanted to live, but now he has to live as a ghost. The life of a ghost is pretty hard, even though he wants to end it. It can't end, but Taro had an idea. Let's just change the meaning of live, and to do that, Taro made a very strange move. What? Which reminds me. Hey, Toko, are you afraid of the dark because you're scared of ghosts? Are you serious? There's no way I'd believe in ghosts and all that paranormal stuff. I may be liberal arts to the core, but I am capable of thinking logically. But... Then why are you afraid of the dark? <sighs> you sure come gouge. Uh, you sure come gouging at me. Huh? Oh, gouging. Are you an idiot? Gouging at my brain to force me to remember my trauma. Well, you offered to tell me earlier. Uh, the reason I'm afraid of the dark is because of an experience I had locked up in a dark place. <laughs> oh, you did something so bad you got locked inside the closet? That happened to me as a kid, too. It's so narrow and dark, it's really scary, huh? Don't mess with me! This is me we're talking about. My story is way more traumatic than that. I was locked up in a place I didn't even know for three days and three nights. Aww. Three days? This is the worst. And not even a crumb of bread to eat. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, ever since then, my mind connects dark and trauma subconsciously. Ugh. Uh, just thinking about it now is giving me goosebumps. Um. Why are you, where are you locked up, and who did that to you? Ugh. I'm remembering it. It's just... Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Jesus Christ. Uh, well... Oh, yeah, they, these are here. I was hoping you'd hit him, but, you know. No! Oh, there's another one of you. Hi. Didn't even see you. Oh, boy. Oh, hi. How's it going, man? Oh, no, 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 no! I only have two hearts! Oh wait, no, I have all my hearts because I reset. Stop that. That's not very nice. You have too much range. Ugh. I mean, so do I, but you throw easily. I have to aim to get a precision shot. Anyways, I'll be right back though, guys. Alrighty, now back to the adventure! Uh. Give me that. 
Oh no, Biakia might be mad at me because I did so poorly. Oh no. I mean, I have to restart three times. So... <sighs> Unless I could just perfectly get the rest... Biaki is going to be disappointed in me. Oh no, not Senpai's disappointment. I don't want anything like that. Well, we made it out. That's all that matters. Now I'm tired. It's a good thing we got out of there okay. Yeah. But being trapped in that sudden blackout? What's with that? I don't know, man. It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. Yeah. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we... We really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't! If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? Yeah. I'm just a regular girl! I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything! Yeah! Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. Toko, what you said earlier... You weren't serious, were you? Yeah, well, let's backpedal all the way to the beginning of this episode. You said you'd kill me. <laughs> what do you mean? You said you were gonna kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So, you'd even kill your friends? What? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But, but that's horrible. Yeah. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. How dare you, Toko? And then Hendrix oh, himself it, came to my life talking. concert three times! In my dreams, anyway! Please, please, can we kill that thing? What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, yes! What? I'm still talking! Please stop. Hey, by the way, when is that meat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? This is gonna be a once-in-a-century event! I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket! <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre, what an awesome word! It's downright magical! Remember when I said that Kokichi might be the only Dog and Roman character that I dislike? No, 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 Kokichi's fine. We're, we're friends now. This thing, please. It has a great <laughs> ring to it, a beat to it, the beatbox beating on my heart. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like, hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? I'm surprised you guys are still listening. Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! What fans? Well, maybe <laughs> I just have to win you over! Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? You probably push her in the street. Cheese interjecting into my witty banter! You high bastard! Horrific idiot! <laughs> Never mind, just be quiet. <laughs> I Thank figured you. it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while, but I guess not. Yeah, you, you should keep be him our shut. advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. Yeah, please we never make him talk again. We great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of him if we want. Yes, please do that. We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Oh, you're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections! Yeah, me neither. Like, just, just keep him shut. fine with it? Get rid of him. So am I. I'm fine with it even if she wasn't fine with it. <laughs> Let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the Resistance? You know, if we're going by real time, they'd probably listen to him for a full hour. Simple uh. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. 
If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. Yeah. Like ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! You don't wear pants. Of course, <laughs> we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader. You sure have a good plan, Meow. But <laughs> instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? We promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool! There's no way I can lose now! I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons! <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up, right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! Wait. I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Bitch, no one told you to talk! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! Whoops! I didn't mean like grown like in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew! That was a close one. Damn close! Weren't you told to stay silent? Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. Didn't you hear her say? You guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Oh, god damn it. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun! Uh oh. Hold up! It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much. Man, if we're going by real time, it's been an hour. But talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Please, 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 please tell him to shut up. Die, I tell ya! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die. Please do it. Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine, just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Ah, oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read minds. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> Seriously. Hello. Well, I apologize for being late again, everyone. Speaking of annoying people. <sighs> hey, hey, hey! Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! Uh. I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? I'm sorry? No. Why? <laughs> what are you, nuts? Oh. This is downright nuts! Oh. I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Yeah, she said that in the beginning, man. Pay attention. <sighs> As expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Uh oh. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Not! Uh oh. Take this! Take this! Where are you getting all that? <laughs> good, good, go for it! Ah, this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Oh. Where'd you get all that? <laughs> hey, where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. Yeah, fuck you, I thought we were friends. Ah. <laughs> nothing to do with me? You've got some nerve. Saying that while doing nothing on your own? Nothing? You think I've done nothing? Hey man, I've been doing all the work. You've only been used a couple times, so it's true shush. That you've saved me a lot. <laughs> but I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! Yeah. What do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. 
You and praised... that's why you don't have any friends! Byakuya, what, are, what, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? You praised him, like, the whole damn time. What? <laughs> Ooh. Leave me alone. I... I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. Using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Whoa. Fine. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. Yeah, you're mean. Why are you following me? You don't have to come with me. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, things are awkward. Like, now it's like just really awkward. Like, just randomly following me. <laughs> God damn it, Toko. I thought we were friends! <laughs> now there's a shiny here. Girl power! I just passed it. What is girl power? Healing? I oh, nice. It's actually very useful. Uh, anything else? There's that battery. I don't think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for that. Maybe I'm not, maybe I am. Hey, man, if you wanna. Ooh! Alright! Alright! The save point, but I think I. Yeah, I did. Uh. Boom! Kotoko! Oh, baby! Hooray! That person's still there. Uh, having fun there, mate. Yeah, I just now notice. Is the bridge gone? <laughs> well, anyways, we're stopping here today. Oh boy, so I need to silence. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Dog and Rompa, another episode Ultra Despair Girls. And if you like this, hit the thumbs up button to save it to your favorites. Also, share with your friends. It's been. Hmm. Have I not been saying my name this whole time? I feel like I haven't. But, anyways, thank you all for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.